the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. Dear friends, as we come together on this day, we have these following intentions to pray for. We remember Brother Shemphan Dakar. Regards Hardy West. Two of our teachers also celebrate their birthdays today. We have their intention. Ma'am Kathy Saibon and Sir Jacob Shilla and Trillian Maulong. We remember these people, commit them to the Lord and ask the Lord's blessings today and every day of their life. We pray for the good health of Mr. M. Majal, Margaret Maulong, who is bedridden. We ask especially the Lord to touch. And Sister Christine Minsong and Catherine Joseph, we commend all of them to the Lord, to the healing power of the Lord. And may they touch, may they heal and bring speedy recovery. We pray for also the intentions of Dariba, Richie and Helen and Dijo. Let's bring all of the other intentions that we have and turn to the Lord. The Lord today asks before us in the readings to live a life as God wants us, as he sees us through. Sinful as we are, we turn to the Lord who knows us, who sees us through and through, that while our sins, we may condemn our sins, we will turn to the Lord in prayer and accept his mercy in humility. Trusting in his mercy, we say, I confess to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words. In what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Savior of your all angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty Lord have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call us sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Today we remember also a saint, Saint Louis, who was from a royal family who fought for the church. O God, who brought Saint Louis from the cares of earthly rule, to the glory of a heavenly realm. Grant, we pray, through his intercession, that by fulfilling our duties here on earth, we may seek your eternal kingdom. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. To turn, brothers, to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and how we shall all be gathered around him. Please do not get excited too soon or alarmed by any prediction or rumor or any letter claiming to come from us, implying that the day of the Lord has already arrived. Never let anyone deceive you in this way. Through the good news that we brought, God called you so that you should share the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Stand firm, then, brothers, and keep the traditions that we taught you, whether by word of mouth or by letter. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who has given us his love and through his grace such an inexhaustible comfort and such pure hope, comfort you and strengthen you in everything good that you do or say. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response, the Lord comes to rule the earth. The Lord comes to rule the earth. Proclaim to the nations, God is king. The world he made firm in its place, he will judge the peoples in fairness. The Lord comes to rule the earth. The Lord comes to rule the earth. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it prayers rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy at the presence of the Lord, for he comes. He comes to rule the earth. The Lord comes to rule the earth. 
The Lord comes to rule the earth. With justice he will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his truth. The Lord comes to rule the earth. The Lord comes to rule the earth. Gospel acclamation. the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew Lord, chapter 23 verses 23 to 26 Jesus said what to you scribes and Pharisees you hypocrites you who pay your tithe of mint and dill and cumin and have neglected the weightier matters of the law justice mercy and good faith these you should have practiced without neglecting the others you blind guides, straining out gnats and swallowing camels. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites, you who clean the outside of the cup and dish and leave the inside full of extortion and intemperance. Blind Pharisee, clean the inside of the cup and dish first so that the outside may become clean as well. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. We are in the 23rd chapter of Matthew. If you read this entire chapter, this is where you will find Jesus, let's say, looking very harsh. And we have actually seven woes, or want to call it seven scolding in a way that he gives to the scribes, Pharisees and the leaders of the faith. The background is Jesus had just spoken against the east of Herodias, Herodias, Herodians and scribes, Sadducees and Pharisees. You know that means the east of Herodians is the longing for pleasure of Sadducees not believing anything that is spiritual and of Pharisees that is of hypocrisy and it continues there are seven woes this is one part but of course here the lord is not in anger hatred or cursing it should not be understood if you read chapter 23 the last word is but my dear people how i long to gather you under as a chicken wants to gather its little ones so it is one of mercy and prayer when we read this I'm sure we think, oh, it is meant for the Pharisees, not for me. No, it is actually first meant for me. He means each of us, no? The Lord is standing before us and telling. In short, it is nothing but if you look the reading, no? Very often, it is maybe in a, in a world of no? fake labels and make-believe lifestyle, the Lord is calling us to be holy, not appearing holy, not appearing good. The focus of the, the Pharisees was that, you know, they tried to appear holy, their gestures of holiness were external, they did everything uh, to do that. So they had put tithes, that means an amount that they have to pay, even for small things, cumin and little things that they get. You know? and, but weightier matters, justice, mercy, ignored. Or, you know, this, the Lord says, you drain out nuts and but allow the camels to go through you know the jews considered nuts means if you want to take it as mosquitoes mosquitoes were considered as impure creatures so a mosquito could even biting or going inside was considered very impure so jews when they made wine 
they would always drain and filter to make sure that no mosquito goes through and that is the imagery that the Lord brings and the biggest animal that a Jew could see around was camel and camel also was considered impure so the Lord says you filter out small things like mosquitoes but allow the camel to go through and the reading is to us you know the call is be a sincere person now there is a legend that says the word sincere comes from a French word called sin, not the science, but in French the last S is not announced, sin sire, the etymology, etymology of the word. <clears throat> but some say it is not, it is from a Latin word that is called sine serum. But if you want to take it, it's interesting, sin sire, meaning sin in French means without Sire means wax. You know, in olden days, they used to make statues, not plaster of Paris, but they used to make statues made of marbles. So, if the marble is not pure and single piece, there is to be small holes, and those holes would in, would make the sculpture difficult to make it. So, what they would do, they would fill those small holes with wax, matching to the color of the statue, and. As the statues are made, what happens later when they are put up or in the sun with the heat, the wax begins to melt and slowly begin to come out. So we have sometimes crying statues, weeping statues in some places. Some cases, not all, are also this wax coming out. So but when the statues were original, made of pure wax, they would sell, run, shout out saying, San Sire, that means statue without wax not adulterated pure clean i think that is a word i think this is one question that we can put to ourselves am i a sincere person no like yesterday's reading when i stand before the lord the last day i'm sure all the wax in me will melt there cannot be any wax i have to be holy and pure and it's a good question that we can ask ourselves am i a holy sincere person because before the lord there cannot be any wax that is in me. Let's look into our life. Am I a person who is not sincere, unholy, or is there any wax that I need to melt? And I'm sure all of us, when we look within, plenty of wax, you know, it will melt. They say we can always tell lies, but there are two people that we cannot bluff. One is God, and the next is myself. If I tell a lie, I know what I am. You know? So, and God, as Don Bosco would say, God sees you. And the reading of today, the two readings, prepares us for that, you know, to look into, the, into yourself and be prepared because the Lord looks into you. The first reading to the Thessalonians speaks and the second reading because of this invitation. You know, the office of the reading today that we priests do, there is a writing from St. John Chrysostom, a wonderful he gives a five-step preparation for repentance. You know, all of us need every moment repentance. And it would be nice to follow these five steps. And I'm sure we will find ourselves improving and coming closer to the Lord. The first is condemn your sin. You know, sometimes we you know we the sins that we fall into repeatedly or we have fallen. You know, sometimes we take pressure in our old sins. Correct? So when I condemn my sin, there is nobody else who will stand before the Lord to condemn me because I have already condemned my sins and the, that gives me also a decision to move forward, to dislike that way and move to the Lord. So condemn your sin. Second, forgive the sins of your friends. So when I forgive others, the forgiveness becomes complete and rich in me. Second, forgive others. Third, the center of it, prayer. No? It is God who gives us the power of forgiveness, the power of repentance and prayer. Fourth, almsgiving. You know? The story of the widow's might. You know? She had nothing but gave the little to the Lord in complete surrender and there comes grace. So when we give, there is always God's grace that comes. And the last, humility. You know? Humility is that which brings God's grace into us. The, the publican who came to the church had nothing to offer to the Lord. Whereas the Pharisee had plenty, I do this, I do that, no. But the publican stood behind and only cried in humility, only sins given. 
and the Lord says he went back justified, meaning receiving the Lord, emptied himself, the Lord entered. So these five steps I think we can always practice, that is condemn your sins, forgive others, prayer, alms giving and humility and I am sure the Lord will enter into us. All of us need this virtue to improve in our holiness, in our grace. As we continue in this Holy Eucharist, let us ask the Lord, Lord take away all that is mine, all that is evil in me and come into us and the Lord is coming in his body and blood, we ask the Lord for this grace. Let us pray, my dear friends, that this sacrifice of mine and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just a duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Holy Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as a Savior and a Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is your comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he to the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, our bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, all our near and dear ones departed who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, the Apostles, the Martyrs, St. Louis, St. Anthony, St. John Bosco, and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let's pray for the coming of God's kingdom in our hearts, in our lives, in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from all sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And Let's offer each other God's peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away all our sins, who gives us, makes us his child. Blessed are we who are called to receive him. As we receive the Lord spiritually into us, we offer our lives to him. We ask the Lord to give us a power, power to repent, power to come closer to him. May the Lord bring his mercy, transform us and make us truly his child, make us sincere from within, as the Lord wants us as he sees us.
what has passed our lips as food, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart, that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for all eternity. Let us pray. Complete within us, Lord, we pray the healing work of your loving mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. Blessed and praise be every moment. Before the Lord, we offer ourselves. We ask the Lord, Lord, make us holy from within. Make us pure from within. Take away all that is impure in us. Melt away all the wax that is in us, so that we remain holy as you want us. And sincere as you want us. We bring these people and intentions before the Lord. We pray for Brother Dakar. Some farm, the car, the God's West, and Kathy, Sir Jacob, Trillian, we ask the Lord to bless them. And for the good health of F. Majal, Kong Margaret Maulong, sisters Christine and Catherine, and for the intentions of Dariba, Richie, Helen, and Dijo. And we offer ourselves and ask the Lord, Lord, fill us with your mercy, and in mercy we condemn our sins. May we give us the power to forgive, may we give that prayer always within us and move in almsgiving and in humility towards you. Lord, fill us with your grace and mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our Have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of this sorrowful passion. 
Blessed and praised be every moment. Blessed and praised be every moment. Blessed and praised be every moment. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. 
we pray for the mercy of the Lord and the protection as we say, Most merciful and triumph God, we come to you in our weakness, we come to you in our fear, we come to you with trust, for you alone are our hope. We place before you the disease present in our world, we turn to you in a time of need, bring wisdom to doctors, give understanding to scientists, and talk every verse with compassion and generosity. Bring healing to those who are ill, protect those who are most at risk, give comfort to those who have lost our auto, welcome those who have died into eternal hope, stabilize our communities, unite us in our compassion, remove our fear from our hearts, fill us with confidence in your care. Jesus, I trust you. Jesus, I trust you. Jesus, I trust you. Pray to the Holy Family. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, in the name of the Holy Spirit, and to the Holy Spirit, to the Holy Spirit, to the Holy Family of Master, and our families to make the basis of our union, prayer and building schools for the Gospel, and small domestic churches, Holy Family of Master, may our families never again experience quiet and protection in the mission. May all the loving heart Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. This mass is ended. Let's go in God's peace. Thanks be to God. 161.